The sumo bro is at the top of the tower and he's feeling a little wobbly today. So let me tell you a bit more about this set in the casual overviews that I've done for the Lego Super Luigi sets. My name has been Brian Saviano Bricks. So Brian, you have Luigi, you have the boss sumo tower. He's swaying this way and then he's going this way. So he's pounding his chest and all that. You're seeing the info for all of this set on screen right now. You get a bird, you get a turtle, you don't get a Luigi that is not included in the set. Uh, that actually fit right behind that pole there perfectly. There we go. That's called professionalism there. So this is everything you see in the set. You're seeing the image of it as well. So the idea behind this is really implementing two-player. So luckily I have my, my number one homie, B Mario, over here. So I'm going to have B Mario help me out. So uh, side note about this character before we get into the functionality here, which is pretty simple overall. But this character here, right? So you see this crow? I'm drawing a blank on the name of the crow. I am so sorry that I don't, I'm not brushed up on my Mario uh, knowledge here. Fun fact for you, I got this, right? And that was totally fine. Now this is also available in the character packs. You can get this character itself. And I got this character in one of my character packs. I don't have all of them yet, but I got it. And you're like, oh, well, that's a little weird. Where's the eye? It's on the other side. I got a misprint. I got a double-sided print for the eyes. So I get, I've i never, I don't think I've ever had that happen. Almost ever that I've noticed. I, I open it and I'm like, that's not how it should be. So that is a possibility, I guess, if you get the character packs, maybe they're made at a different plant or printed in a different way. But this is how it's supposed to be. One on each side, like this. This is the one I got in this set, but just showing as a possibility, this can happen on the other side there. So super interesting stuff. So uh, that's cool. Um, I will probably get a replacement part eventually. Lego has good customer service like that. You can get that done. But anyways, I'll show you the Sumo Bro up here. The Sumo Bro is the first we've seen for the Lego Super Mario waves in general. Uh, printing on this two, uh, two by four rounded tile, I think. On the, the front, you see the eyes. Those are printed as well. The back has a unique stickered two by two tile. So yeah, you're getting the idea here. These sort of pieces are newer. I think they are they might be new in black. Uh, a lot of people are really excited about those pieces for custom creations and whatnot. And then as you can see, uh, as you rotate him back and forth, he kind of pounds his chest. So uh, before I get into the play functionality on the very top of here, uh, you can see that there is a uh, invincibility star. So in case you haven't gotten one of those before, there you go. Uh, these sections actually come apart a multitude of ways. So this is meant to interact with the tower specifically. The inside of it is slightly hollow and they are more hollow as you go along there. So although we've gotten these sort of structures before like this, right? You, know, you notice that they're not all built the same way. These are meant specifically for the tower. And the way that this works down here is there's a elastic in the back, which basically creates the, the tension in order to uh, move this from left to right. So what you're supposed, okay, well that just fell apart there, which I guess does, that doesn't really matter because you got the idea of what it looks like anyways, right? But what you do is you have this functionality here. This does require two player unless you feel like playing uh, solo as just Luigi or Mario, but you take this tower and then you hit the character. Let's say you go right here, right? And you're like one, you do it that way. You're like, oh, that didn't do anything. Well, if you do this, and then the sumo bro starts beating his chest at the top. He's like, oh, you can't get me, brother. You do this, this, and you go back and forth, back and forth. You see it's starting to sway a whole lot, back and forth. And you really have to maintain the momentum here. You have to slam it down. And if you don't maintain the momentum, it's just not going to go. So you really have to, like, one, two, three. Like, it actually requires a, uh, a decent amount of focus. Yep. Decent amount of focus there, and then you topple him down off the tower. And so you're using Mario or Luigi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You said like, you know, seven or eight hits in order to take down the sumo bro. And then you get the invincibility, of course, right at the very top as your reward. So this is a uh, two-player heavy uh, thing here. I really like the play functionality of it, though. I, I really like what they're doing here. I think it's, it's different, and it's just genuinely fun. Uh, this to me is more fun than the Piranha Plant Power Slide or the especially, especially more fun than the Boomer Bill Barrage, man. That, that one is just like, oh, we're all set. But this is actually pretty fun 
all things considered. Uh, I wish there was more I could show you with this, but that's literally it. That's all I got for you. Like, that's that's it. So if you're not crazy about the sumo bro and you're not playing two-player, like, you can get this character in a character pack. It's not exclusive. So you could go without this set if you're looking to, I don't know, get the mainstay characters. You're more interested in Lakitu or otherwise. But yeah, this one... I like the play functionality a lot. So if you're playing with, you know, your younger sister, your brother, or you have wh whoever, doesn't matter, right? You're playing with them. It, you're going to get your money's worth, your value out of it. It's going to be worth it. So I recommend it for that reason. I like the Sumo Bro. Invincibility Star is cool to have. This guy, eh, you know, he's whatever. So yeah, that's my, uh, my overview. It's a little bit of a quick one here, but, you know, sometimes that happens. So... There's still character packs and other stuff to overview. I don't have all those yet, but I will be continuing my journey through more LEGO Super Mario sets. Hopefully, as they come out, I'm really hoping one of these sets is going to be a micro-scale Peach's Castle one of these days. We shall see in due time. But until then, I'll see you for more LEGO Mario or Luigi sets in the near future. But yeah, keep on meowing it out. Bye.